how different production companies work and how different movie industries work, not only here but globally. Welcome back to my check with me, the one and only Silas B Hollywood Meets Nollywood edition. That's right, your girls, the official host for the Hollywood Meets Nollywood, a night with the Royals, live at the New Orleans Jazz Market. If you're not here, you need to get here. We're going to be screening a brand new movie called Different Worlds, brought to us by Stanford Films Productions and, of course, Daishiki Diaries, our very own NOLA Daishiki Diaries. Yes, that's right. We claim them as well. My check with Stylus B. 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 And welcome back to my check with me, the one and only Stylus B. Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. I am here with the beautiful, the talented actress Tadase Young. How are you? I am blessed. Thank you so much. You know, thank you for joining us, right? Um, you look absolutely. stunning. Thank okay, you. she's literally shimmering. I see. <laughs> Glowing. A little shimmer never hurt nobody. Okay. <laughs> now you got to talk to us about different worlds. How did that come to be? Oh my gosh, what an opportunity. I had the, um, the pleasure of hosting Hollywood uh, meets Nollywood last Last year. Right, I remember and that. Through that, I met um, a lot of the people from Stanford Productions, mm -hmm. and they presented me with an opportunity to tell a love story mm -hmm. with mixing Hollywood and Nollywood, and I just jumped at the opportunity. I don't blame you, and I'm excited to see you because you're super talented. Thank you. So, tell me, what's the hardest part of doing this movie, especially since you were so far away from home? I think the hardest part might actually be being away from home. Uh -huh. I've never really shot that far away from like my support system and my mom and my mm -hmm. husband. Um, but being able to, thank goodness for FaceTime, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> and for their support through the airwaves, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So um, the distance is always challenging. I was in Nigeria for a little over two weeks. Mm -hmm. So that was a little different, um, different time zones. But yeah. I still had an opportunity to meet so many different people, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. trade it for anything. Right. Now tell me this, since it is about different worlds, yes. what are some of the huge differences you noticed when you were there opposed to here? Oh gosh, culturally things are so much more different because even though we are in uh, the south and we have some yes, hospitality, yes. I will say that the people of Nigeria were so welcoming and so excited to have an American there, Aww. let alone um, an actress. Um, right. It's rare for us to film across seas. And I hope that that hopefully, you know, becomes a new trend where yeah. people decide to kind of branch out and yeah. you know, cross over. Yeah, no, agreed, right? And I would always take a trip to yes. work and travel. <laughs> so that's a gift right yes, there. Once, exactly. once you get over leaving your, you know, your support right. system. Luckily it wasn't for too long. <laughs> What's the one thing you hope that they get from this movie? I really hope that they see a love story told differently and something that's going to be honest and authentic, representing New Orleans, but also Nigeria yeah. in a different light than what we've seen before. Yeah, I love that. Well, thank you so so much for sharing Thank your you. talent and your gift with us Absolutely. and for just being you because we couldn't have did it without you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, you guys make sure you keep tuning in. We're just yes. getting started, right? Yes, absolutely. Just the beginning. All right. Hello and welcome back to Mike Check With Me, the one and only Stylus B, Hollywood Meets Nollywood edition. That's right, we're here again at the second annual Hollywood Meets Nollywood on Night of the Royals. And I have someone that looks very regal with me right now, Miss Tamira, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing well. So you were the screenwriter for the movie Different Worlds, correct? correct. How was that experience? It was awesome. It, it was somewhat of a challenge. Um, <laughs> okay. Just because I'm not from Nigeria, of course. So learning that culture mm -hmm. and learning, you know, just that lingo and yeah. also write a script and write the dialogue, that was the biggest challenge. But other than that, you know, storytelling is just something that... You do as a writer, okay. yeah. And that was my very first script, so I, I can't okay. say that I'm an experienced writer. It was my very first script. Storytelling is something Okay, that I okay, I got it. So just to be clear, right. <laughs> You're like, hey, I didn't say I was writing a bunch of... Right. Well, yeah. welcome the first of many. Let's say right. that, right? Yes. This is a great experience. So you saying that it's difficult. What did you do to prepare for writing for a, a completely different culture? Research. 
Mm -hmm. A lot of Google talking to the producer, mm -hmm. Austin Obuiti. He's clearly from Nigeria. You're so right. Just talking to him, you know, asking him, hey, what, what are some good names? Like, what, how do y'all say this? Yeah. You know, just things like that. But for the most part, a lot of research. Nice. Now, are you from here? Yes. I'm so from how here. did you wind up getting the opportunity to write for a Nigerian script? I um, attended the same event last year. Okay. So... From watching that movie, um, my mom's friends with the executive producer. Got it, got it. So um, she went back and she was like, you know, my daughter had this and that to see mm -hmm. about the movie. And he kind of was like, oh, okay, well, maybe she can help me with this next project. And you're like, and okay, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so what, if you could do any type of project next, what would it be? Um, I'm actually working on a, a I, I have three scripts. Okay, so she goes from zero to, to three. You see how you better pay attention. Right. Yeah. Um right now I would love to direct this next one. That's okay. So okay. I would like to direct my next film. So okay. I get that opportunity. Um, so I'm just gonna start making some like small little shorts. I might start like a YouTube channel. Yeah. Start trying to just get to get it out that. there. Yeah. Well I am an eligible actress, you know, if you need someone. Awesome. You know, a little, little shameless plug never hurt anyone. Right. Anyway, <laughs> but no, thank you for coming and thank you for continuing to grow and hone your craft. So you go from zero scripts and now you have three in the making. Right. Director soon to be celebrated, right? right. And right. we're excited to see different worlds tonight. Now, yes. before we leave, make sure you give everyone your social media so they can follow the journey. Okay, you can follow me on Instagram at Tamara.Renee. That's T-A-M-Y-R-A mm -hmm. dot R-E-N-E. Thank you so thank much. You. Okay, we'll be right back. Don't move. Hello and welcome back to Mike Check With Me, the one and only stylist B, Hollywood meets Nollywood edition, brought to you by Dashiki Diaries. I'm here with the dynamic duo. Okay, I'm hosting the red carpet, and they're hosting the actual event, Mr. Sean and Miss Imani. How are you? We are great. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Okay, you look smashing, riveting, you, you amazing. She know what to say to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to just chat with you guys because I know independently you are both actors, correct? Yeah. And so how did you guys wind up doing this event together? You want to go first? Uh, we actually uh, were classmates in a uh, class of our launch academy. Okay. And, uh, that's where we initially met. Got it, got and it. Then it okay, so you guys met and you were like, hey, we should do this. Or did they, did they approach you to do it together? We were actually, um, the cool thing about this film is mm -hmm. it's most of the people that are in this film yeah. already know each other. So oh, nice. So it's really cool because we kind of got plugged in that way. Got it. Just like a collaborative come together. Right, right. Of people that we've already either been around, been in class with, yeah. we've been comfortable with, and we just came together. And okay. So two things I learned from this networking is really crucial and important. Yes. There. And honing your craft because if you weren't taking the classes, you would not have been presented with the opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys better pay attention now. What have you seen any of the like? Did you get a sneak peek of the film already, or have you have to wait with us? Okay. So don't fail. So we have seen the trailer. <laughs> okay. But we have not gotten to see the whole exact film. Okay. So it's kind of exciting and nerve wracking for us too. Right. We're on the edge of our seats just as much as you guys. You're, and you're more ready because you have people to support. You're like, I'm ready right. to see it. Yes. Well, you won't have to wait much longer, right? Because we're going to be seeing it tonight. That's right. That's right. So I'm sure you guys are going to give an exciting show. Yes. But because you guys are two independent artists, I do want you to share your social media so they can continue to follow your journey. Of course. So um, my Instagram is Imani Ellison. That is E-M-O-N-I-E. -E That's right. <laughs> Ellison with an E. Um, and then my Snapchat is Imani95. Okay. And my uh, Instagram is Sean B for real. That is Sean S E A N B the number four real. Okay. Okay. Because you're a real one, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's what it is. That's right. The only Sean. Got it. I'm the only stylist B. I have never met another Good stylist job. B. Look how we bonding. That's right. We're going to have to chat up, you know, because we can't give them all again, all the stuff. Well, I just want to thank y'all for joining us and thank you. We're going to have more. Thank you to Dashiki Diaries for putting on this amazing event and Globe Vision, my support system for making Mike Check with Stylist B even possible. We'll be right back. 
Hello and welcome back to Mike Check with me, the one and only Stylist B, Hollywood Meets Nollywood Edition, brought to you by Dashiki Diaries and Stanford Productions Film. And of course, I have another amazing person with me. But this time I'm not going to introduce him, I'm going to let him introduce himself. Tell the people who you are. My name is Derek Duck, and I'm one half of the Dark Brothers. <laughs> and what did you do with Different Worlds? Uh, I was a producer on Different Worlds. Okay, how did that come about? Come on, give us more. Uh, I came to this event last year, uh -huh. uh, met with Austin. Uh, hit it off really well with Terrence. Okay. And uh, you know, Terrence, you know, hit me up. We stayed in constant communication. It was like, hey man, look, awesome, want to do this movie. Okay. So we all sat down at the, at the round table. And we made it happen. All right, it's nothing like a round table. You know, if it was square, probably wouldn't happen. Yeah, square, probably wouldn't happen. <laughs> keep square on my circle, That's right. Um, that's yeah. right. What was the best part of this experience for you? Uh, just being on set, working, working yeah. with Beyonce, working with Terrence, working with all the actors that was involved. Yeah. And just being in New Orleans and filming and making history. Nice. Now, are you not? from New Orleans? No, I'm not. Where are you from? I'm from Homer. Okay, well, I knew it was Louisiana. Yeah, so so you, you weren't coming from Nigeria, you was coming from Homer. Yeah, okay, Homer. all right. Yes, so I know this is exciting and we, we are finally getting to see the movie tonight because you yes. know we all been kind of waiting, like I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So I want to know what's next for you what's now that this is done. Yeah. I'm going to call him over. Come here. Uh, okay. Right, come see. Sir, sir. <laughs> come, see. Come, on. come on in. You done called you in. So, so. So this guy here, he, uh -huh. this guy name is Andre Tillman. Okay. He's the brother, the older brother of Cameron Tillman. Okay. Uh, so Cameron Tillman was uh, made his transition September 23rd, 2014, right? 2014. Okay, I'm sorry for your loss. His life you know. was took by a police officer. Uh, and Cameron, he, I actually taught him in high school. Okay. And, uh, I coached Cameron in high school football, and uh, they, they from my neighborhood. Okay. And, uh... You know, I'm doing a documentary. So okay, that's so that's what's next. Yeah, I'm doing a documentary about Cameron Tillman, about who he was. Okay. And how this thing happened. Yeah. Well, I applaud that always. Yeah. You know, whenever there's a story that should be told, yeah. somebody's got to tell it. So, and I applaud you for being a part of it and kind of helping him along the way because you, of all people, would know the story firsthand better than anybody, right? And I continue to send my prayers with you because I don't think there's any real healing when you lose someone so close. You know what I mean? Nah, it's, de it's definitely not. And it's just like, just from outside looking in. Yeah. And like me knowing him and like, this ain't like, oh, I'm just doing a movie. Like I had a relationship with him. Yeah. I had a relationship with both of them and it just kind of, him and his brother reminded me, reminded me of me and my brother. Right. Because we were. Right. So it means a lot to me. To get that story to told. Him, you know? Well, don't give it all to them. I know it's heavy. I know it's, you know, but yeah. they got to wait and tune in. Okay? Yeah. You got yeah. to get them to pay for the stuff that you're putting out. <laughs> so, if you want to see more of what he has going on, give him your social media. My social media, you can follow me. Uh, you can follow my, my page, The Dark Brothers. That's spell how it sounds. C-H-E-D-A-R-K Brothers. B-R-O-T-H-E-R-S. That's right. Make sure you follow, and we will be right back with another amazing, talented guest. You don't want to miss this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Mike Check with me, the one and only stylist B. Nollywood meets Hollywood. Hollywood meets Nollywood. We're mingling. We're getting things done. I have with me here Miss Rhonda Mitchell. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Tell the people everything that you did with the film this time around for Different Worlds. So I did a lot of things for this film. They just started calling me Film Seal. Oh, and this is why I didn't give them the things that you did. Just FYI. <laughs> I like passed it on to you. Um, <laughs> Mainly I was the production manager, right? but I was also head of hair and wardrobe, Okay. I was a, the um, production assistant, Okay. I was script supervisor, <laughs> if it had to do with behind the camera, I was That was you, it. you were behind the camera liaison yes, all yeah. around. Well we thank you for that, right, because it couldn't get done without people like you making sure it's happening. Right. Now how did you get the opportunity to work on this film? I was good friends with Austin before, okay. and I was one of Terrence's students okay. at launch. Nice! And so through them, they offered me the position, and when I first came on, I thought I would just be doing production assistant Right, work. silly you. And then it, quickly, <laughs> it quickly became, I was doing a lot of different stuff, yeah. whatever I could to help out. Yeah, well, I'm, well I thank you for that, because sometimes that creates more opportunities for you. They pay right. attention to stuff like that, right? So it's airing tonight. What are you most excited about people getting from the film? Um, the storyline. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with the storyline. Nice. Who doesn't love a good love story, right? Exactly. With culture. Okay, you can't lose, right? Right. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for coming. I don't want to hold you up. I know we're kind of running out of time, and I know you're excited to see what's next, Fair. right? Why don't you give everyone your social media so they can continue to follow your journey? You can find me on all of my social media at Elf Kiss Me, E L F K I S S M E. 
All right. Thank you so thank much. You. And we will be right back. Hello and welcome back to Mike Check with me, the one and only stylist be Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. That's right, we're here thanks to Dashiki Diaries, Stanford Production Films, and of course my support system, Globe Vision Inc. We are bringing you amazing things. And speaking of amazing, I have with me Mr. Terrence. How are you? I'm great. How you doing? I'm doing well. Tell us what you did with the film, in the film, and with the film this time around. Okay, I directed the film and I produced the film. Okay, and how did you become the director of the film? Um, the executive producer of the film, um, Austin Boyfui, mm -hmm. was my former student, acting nice. student. Nice! Uh, and on the first day, I'd asked everybody to tell me a bit about themselves. He said that he produced Nigerian films. And I looked at him in the eye. I said, one day, me and you... Are going to work together. Yeah, and I, I believe in putting things in the universe. Yeah. In a year and a half... Later, Later, here we are. Listen, you better claim what you want. You better speak it into the universe. He, Absolutely. Okay, representation of how strong that can be. Absolutely. Now, how was it to direct a film that wasn't shot here specifically? Well, half of it was shot here right. once, and the other half was shot in Somewhere year. else. It was nerve-wracking initially because I'm a control freak. <laughs> you so, know. So, so imagine if you make gumbo. Uh-huh. And somebody gonna say midway through the process we're gonna let your cousin Larry come finish the gumbo. Oh, this is I didn't even think about that. And so initially it was nerve wracking, but at, you know, at a certain point I had an epiphany and I realized that um, these brothers know Nigeria better than I do. Right. And um, so I, I left. You just gotta debate. trust the process. I, yeah. That's what I did. I prayed on it and we, we came out with a great you know. Yeah, job. and we're excited to see it. I know it's gonna be amazing. Half of the people I already know are talented and the other half have to be talented because you all came together right and nothing happens with mistakes so we want to thank you for directing produce make sure you give them your social media so they can continue to follow okay i think uh, on twitter i'm t rose actor one on um on instagram I'm, if you look up my name terrence rose <laughs> I'm the only Terrence Rose. That's boy. right. And so any social media uh, follow platform, like it'll come on. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> he's like Rose. social media. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's Rose. that's right. So just look up Google. He's Googleable. I always like to oh, say uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You can just Google him and you'll find it. We'll be right back with more talented people. You don't want to miss this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Mike Check with me, the one and only stylist V Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. I'm here with the moderator for the whole event, Mr. Dominique McClellan. How are you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. How are you doing this I'm evening? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Absolutely. Are you excited about the event tonight? I am. I just got off the plane from New York like two hours ago. Okay, don't show off. <laughs> nah, don't show off. It's That's like I'm booked <laughs> and busy. That's what you're saying? That's how excited I am to be here. Okay, like, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so. You're like, I got to go. I got places to be. I have to moderate some things. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. how did you become the moderator? for the event well I was chosen to uh, moderate uh, the event last year okay and um, it went really really well the okay feedback was amazing from both the panelists and the audience nice um, and so it was, it was actually it was definitely an honor to be able to lead that discussion yeah. yeah now since this is a repeat how did the opportunity present itself the first time around well because uh, last year it went so well mm -hmm. you know they invited me back right. uh, to moderate again and so you know hopefully um, you know, I'm looking forward to just being a, an annual and, thing. Right. You just want to be part of Absolutely. part of the team and the crew. Like, well, that's an instant placeholder. Yeah. But I believe in the conversation. You know, yeah. Hollywood is Hollywood. Like, yeah. I believe in bridging that gap. So, Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Whatever it takes, I'll, I'll make sure that I'm available. Yeah. Now, what are you most excited about in tonight's film? Um, I, I think uh, the, the thing that I'm excited the most about is just to see in the collaboration. Yeah. The collaboration. You know, yeah. we have actors from here. We have... Uh, directors who are based yeah. here and you know shooting in a, excuse me shooting in another country like I, I think I would love to just see how all that um, came plays together out. yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's we a need good that. pot of gumbo right there yeah, yeah. you're we, mixing everything together <laughs> and we need that when you talk about representation and talk about collaborating like what better collaboration right than, you know to collaborate with our brothers and sisters yeah um, overseas yeah agree mm -hmm. now let's talk about how amazing it is to work with Ashiki Diaries you know, <laughs> Dashiki Diaries <laughs> is a well-oiled machine. That's right. Don't play with them. Don't play. Okay. Yes. I got yes. here and was in my in place. Okay. <laughs> but no, no I just love their vision. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they're visionaries. They're very efficient. Uh, they know what they want. and They know how to get it. Yeah. And if and if 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 it doesn't exist, 
they'll, they'll find manifest yes, it. You know? Yes, so, yes. So it's a pleasure being able to work and collaborate with, with, with people like that. Yeah. And who also share the same vision and, it's, and have the same drive as agreed, you Agreed. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Well, I don't want to keep you because I know you got work to do, okay? <laughs> but I do want you to share your social media so that because you do more than just moderate, others can kind of find out what Dominique McClellan is all about. Well, absolutely. So you can find me on all platforms, Dominique McClellan. Uh, that's on Instagram, website, Facebook, all that good stuff. Okay, thank well, you thank so you much. for joining us, and we will be sure to tune in tonight. I know it's going to be a great panel. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a really good discussion. All right, you guys don't move. I'll be right back. Hello, and welcome back to Mike Check With Me, the one and only stylist B, Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. Now, I'm here with the man of the hour, okay, the man with the plan, Mr. Austin, CEO of Stafford Film Productions, and the producer of Different Worlds. That was a dramatic effect. Did you like that? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, how did all this come to be? Uh, actually, the, uh, the different words, uh, you know, did my premiere last year. Yes. We made a movie last year. Were you here? The movie? Yes, I okay. was here. So, it was a good movie, by the way. Thank you so much. Three some. Uh, that movie actually uh, gave birth to this premiere. Uh, okay. This right here. Okay. So during the premiere of that movie, uh, you know, the crew members and the cast that you're going to see here tonight, mm -hmm. you know, most of them were there at the premiere. Yes. Uh, so. And we talked about collaboration, you mm -hmm. know, collaborating Hollywood and Nollywood. Yeah. You know, uh, getting all the actors together, you know, and this is something I've been thinking about, you know. I've, I'm thinking about, you know, doing something here in America mm -hmm. and also in Nigeria. Yeah. You know, so because I feel like when you go to Africa, when you go to Nigeria, I'm the movie lover. lover. When, yeah. When I go to Nigeria, I, I like to watch, the, uh, I go to the movie theater. Uh huh. You know? When you go to the movie theaters, you see American movies being shown at the theaters. Okay. So. When you come over here, you don't you don't see any Nigerian, see Nigerian movies. movies. You're right. Yeah, yeah. So that's one reason that that's one of the things that motivated me uh -huh. know, to really, you know, try to bridge that gap. Yeah. You know, between Hollywood and Nollywood. You yeah, know? yeah. And like, look, you know, we're gonna have to start showing uh, Nigerian Your movies. movies exactly. And exactly. Nollywood movies. Yeah. That's know? right. Somebody's gonna have to do it. Yeah. And you, you know, know what? I yeah. learned that Nollywood is like the third. It largest the in the right, right now. The the oh, it used, oh, to be, it used to be the third. Used to be the third. Right, the second, right. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. we should definitely be getting some Nollywood films exactly. here. So we should be getting some Nollywood films. <laughs> and thanks to Netflix. Netflix is actually <laughs> Netflix is actually trying to help to bridge that gap as well. Mm -hmm. In the Netflix, they are beginning to you know to uh, to absorb and you know acquire mm -hmm. uh, Nollywood movies now. You know. Which is good, you know. So we are looking forward to that, you know. So, you know, um, it, it's something that that you know that that I, I've been want to do. Yeah. You know, trying to get all this, trying to get African movies, Nollywood movies, yeah. to start showing in America. So and the people are supporting it because, like, after the uh, after the last year's premiere, yeah. You know, this time around, people is like, we, we're gonna be having double the size yeah. of the last year. Yeah. Yeah. We sold out of tickets. Tickets are sold out. I mean, it's sold out like you know, like couple of days ago you know so both via general admission tickets and VIP tickets yeah yeah so, yes, and like, I don't you know, blame them it was amazing last year I know yeah. it, it's amazing this year I'm super proud of you and I'm proud because you brought people around you along for the journey exactly. and that yes. is commendable exactly. so thank you can you before we get off can you at least share your like your social media your website however yes. we can follow yes. the journey yes, yes. Uh, my name is Austin with, um, um, I'm on Instagram uh, Austin A U S C I N underscore away from my last name O G B U E F I. You can also go to my uh, go go my, my uh, production company put the Stanford Films Productions mm -hmm. also on Instagram. Just go to uh, uh, Stanford Films Production mm -hmm. on Instagram and you find that. Also my movies are, I have movie channels as well. I have, uh, okay. I have movie channels with uh, Amazon. Okay. You know it's uh, www.amazon.com slash V slash Stanford Films Production. Okay. Okay or you can also go to uh, W production. Mm -hmm. Listen, there's multiple ways to see what he has going on. Right, so That's I, right. I have about eight, nine movies there right nice. now. Nice. Exactly. Well, listen, if you couldn't make it here, make sure you go online and check out everything he has going on. We're going to go enjoy the screening of Different Worlds. Thank you. We'll be back. Thank you so much. Hello and welcome back to Mike Check With Me, the one and only stylist B Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. Mm -hmm. That's right, I'm here at the event live and I have Miss Charity on the red carpet with me. How are you? I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm alright, thank you. <laughs> you fine, you okay, you alright? <laughs> I'm on <laughs> It's like I was ready for this, I'm ready for this. <laughs> well, how are you, you, so you're feeling good? I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm in New Orleans. So right, yeah, okay. So everything good, everything nice. Right, right, okay, so are you excited about the premiere? I'm like I've been waiting for, for it like you know Austin has been like you know it's going to be amazing <laughs> New Orleans is going to be buzzing that day mm -hmm. and it's like, so I'm here and I'm really excited to be here yeah now how did you become uh, one of the actresses in the film 
okay, I'll sing for Chad for the film. Okay. And he's the producer of the film, mm -hmm. yeah. So he got Chad for the film, yeah. So, so you were like, I'm down. I, I like to work. Yeah. <laughs> Do you love it here in New Orleans? Love it, but I'm not really the study where I wanted to go. Oh, I to go yes, go yes, but Tadasse, not Tadasse. yes, yeah, I do. So nice, now yeah. I knows how to have a nice, mm -hmm. good time. Mm -hmm. So, I think so, you want to take me places, so yeah, nice. So just have like a few days to so, so, you're working tonight, but then the next night, you'll be able to enjoy mm -hmm. the city, yeah? yeah? Make sure you get you some good food, I will. you know. <laughs> What's next for you? The industry? Um, yeah, in the industry. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I'm acting now, mm -hmm. but definitely I would love to try out new stuff, like you know, okay. directing or producing. Nice. Yeah, but for now, I want to act. You want to focus on acting. Well, I'm so proud of you Thank for you. just continuing to pursue what you love. Mm -hmm. And here now you're in a film that's not only where you are, but coming all the way to New Orleans. Yes. That's a blessing, that's right? A movement, yes. Like that, to move to the best yes. Place. So hopefully we'll see you in some of the films here as well. Yes. Network, communicate, Small talk. Film. That's right. So do you have any social medias? Yeah. Okay, let's share social medias. Okay, my social media account is charity underscore a w o k e a w o k e charity underscore a w o k e. So follow me. That's right. You heard mm -hmm. her. Follow her. Okay. Follow us. Subscribe and like and continue to tune in. We'll be right back right here. Hollywood meets Nollywood. Hello and welcome back to Mike Check with me, the one and only stylist V Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. I'm here with Africa's top actress. This is one of, I'm going to say, top actress, Miss Ngozi. How are you? I'm good. How did you become the top? That, that takes a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of hard work. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it took a lot of hard work and a lot of time. Yeah. And um, you have to try as much as possible mm -hmm. to be good in what you're doing. Yeah. So that, that is it. Then the grace of God. So. Yeah, amen. Amen. Now tell me, how do you, since you're the top, so we can learn from you, how do you prepare for a role? Like um, if I'm given a script, mm -hmm. I make sure I read it. Well, that's right. I, yeah. Right. I, mean, I think people take that for granted. Like you got to know what's going on in the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to read and walk myself into the role. Mm -hmm. Like um, there was this movie I shot and um, I had some... Some scenes that I had to play like a mad woman. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe it. I had to understudy a mad woman. Okay. Yeah, it was risky, but I had to do it. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you for like throwing yourself completely into what you mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. And I know you did that with different worlds. How did you enjoy working in New Orleans and then in Nigeria? No, actually, I my role was done in Nigeria. Okay, so you didn't get to shoot in New Orleans. Mm -mm, okay, mm -mm, I did not. Okay, but you're here with us. Yes. I okay. Am. Well, at least you you were able to be here with us. Mm -hmm. So all of your roles were all of your scenes were shot in Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, yes. nice. Mm -hmm. And what did you think about the script itself, like the marrying of the two cultures? Beautiful. Script. Yeah. You know, very unique. You know, um, you know, an American coming to marry a Nigerian. Yeah. She didn't know what she, what, to what she was getting into, <laughs> and um, Africans mostly Africans, uh -huh. you know, and the mother with just one son, yes, wanting to marry an American, right? We got to uh, talk about some things. My goodness, it was easy. <laughs> It wasn't easy. Well, I applaud you for nailing the role. I know that you did. I can't wait to see it. Before we end, can, do you have any social media, websites, so they can continue to follow your journey? Yes. Um, my Instagram handle is official Ngozi Ezono. Yes. Yes. Official. Okay, because she's official. Well, you look radiant, and you guys are amazing for tuning in. We'll be right back right here. Mike Check with Silas V. Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to my check with me, the one and only Silas V. Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. I'm here with another talented actress from the film Different Worlds, Mr. Mason. How are you? Great, great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. You know, every now and then they don't nobody ask me that. You know. Somebody got you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Now tell me, how was it to work on Different Worlds? Um, it was incredible. It was definitely a project I knew was. Uh, it was bigger than your average. They were definitely doing yeah. different things that I haven't been a part of before. So to be a part of Hollywood to Nollywood. It's amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Now, how did you get the opportunity to, to be in the film? Um, 
So I've been taking classes at Launch Modeling Talent from Terrence Rosemore for okay. about two years. And uh, I was in my tattoo chair one day. He gave me a call. Okay, wait, you tattoo? I was getting a tattoo. Oh, you were getting a tattoo? So it was like, ah, what's up, Terrence? You were like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. What you need? <laughs> but, um, no, he gave me a call. He wanted to talk to me about a part. A couple mm -hmm. weeks later, we discussed the role. A couple weeks after that, I was on set. Wow, that's amazing. So now that tattoo is kind of special. Different you're like person. you're like I remember this tattoo. It's an ace of spades. That, Trump look card. at that! So yeah. you knew. Look, it, it all came together for the greater good, right? Perfect. So what do you have coming up next? Coming up next, hopefully a lot of auditions and a lot of bookings. That's right. We have to audition the book. Yeah, a couple films in post right now. Mm -hmm. So just waiting for those to come out, get some demo footage, and yeah. uh, keep pushing the ball forward. That's right. Well, I'm super proud of you for just getting out there. People don't know how hard it is to be an artist, an actress, anything creative. There's no floor plan. There's no format for how we do what we do. You yeah. just got to kind of get it there and keep doing you. it. That's right. You. And you're honing your craft, too. That's another thing. Be you. Take classes. Take advice. All that. That's right. Well, give them your social media so we can continue to follow to see what Mason is bringing us next. Gotcha. Um, my Instagram is Mason underscore underscore Bochamp. That's B-E-A-U-C-H-A-M-P. Um, I'm only on Instagram because I don't like Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> but uh, follow me on Instagram. I'll probably follow back. That's yeah. right. You probably follow back. At least you're being honest. I'm just, You've been honest. <laughs> well, listen, follow him for sure, and you may get a follow back. And make sure you keep tuning in with us right here, Mike Check with Me, brought to you by Glow Vision Inc. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Hello and welcome back to Mike Check With Me, the one and only stylist to be Hollywood meets Nollywood edition. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm here with somebody that is super amazing on my red carpet. It's your Royal Highness, Queen Diambi of the Democratic Republic of Congo and the African people of Brazil. Okay, you, you see her. No. You see her. You look amazing. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. I'm very happy. It's an honor to have you. A special event where uh, the, we meet the diaspora. We come back to uh, this land mm -hmm. to meet our descendants. Yes. Descendant of our ancestors. Yes. To come together to bridge the gap, to get to know each other, and to share what we have accomplished over the many, many years. Of yes. And to meet each other again and to get to know who we are. That's and right. To share what we have accomplished, and so all this, this wealth can be shared among. That's us. right. That's yes. right. Listen, I have met various people. Mm -hmm. I've even met different queens. I've never been more honored to meet someone than because we're family. Yes. We you know what I mean? And we have been separated. And I like that you say come together. And even yes. I told you when you walked up, I could feel your energy. Thank it's ra it radiates so I appreciate you mm -hmm. and I appreciate you for being here so tell me what are you most excited about for this film I'm very excited because I think it's time that uh, the African voice mm -hmm. start of the continent start being heard yes. here yes because, uh, I, when I first came here uh, from the continent uh, there was a lot of misunderstanding of what Africa really was yeah and there were a lot of cliches that was completely untrue and then we, of course, on the other side, we had to go through the same thing. Right. So we had a lot of cliches about African Americans. And yes. African on this side of the, the Atlantic, and we thought, you know, we're not sure. Now we know it are not true. Yeah. So it's time we debunk all that because that is creating interference in our way to progress towards a, a, a balanced and a thriving environment for ourselves. Yeah. So we have to understand that the connectivity we have to build will come first from clearing the path, mm -hmm. and clearing all the misunderstanding, and then acquiring the knowledge that we need about each other. Yeah. Because we both, on each end, hold a part of our history. Yeah. So the Africans have the descendant of the ancestors here who have gone through certain experiences that are African experiences mm -hmm. and the Africans here have also the descendant of their ancestors who have also gone through their traumatic experience yeah. and then have gone through this experience that belongs to them as well. Yeah. So it's time that we reconcile and then this is an event that just uh, a platform for that kind of yes. conversation where we're going to meet a lot of Africans from the continent mm -hmm. and a lot of Africans from the from here. From the yes, world. and I think and that's beautiful. It's, it's, it's beautiful and believe me, I've been here, I've been coming to the United States for quite some time now mm -hmm. and I see a lot of separation, I saw a lot of separation yeah. between the communities. And um, it, it was basically a lot mis misunderstanding. Yeah. And, and it was also purposely so. Yeah. So because yeah, because we're stronger together. We're stronger together. That's right. So you want to you know, break a hair, you just pull one hair. But if you want to break 
you put t many like a whole exactly bunch, you can't break it that's right so and this is very important that we realize that Africa has a lot to give to the world yeah and uh, Africa is exceptional and don't believe everything you see that's and right let us Africans tell you about that. that's right and, and accept to see and accept to open not just your eyes right but your, but your, heart. your heart that's right to understand the experience and what brought us to that experience that we are expressing with that's right family. well I'm excited about events like this like you just said that brings us all together to debunk all the stereotypes that existed before I do believe we're doing better as a people on both ends of the world and I cannot wait to see more of the work that we get done thank you so much for joining us tonight thank and you. thank you all for tuning in I told you I had a special treat for you make sure you continue to tune in we have more right here Mike check with stylus B and your Royal Highness thank you so much for having me thank you bye bye